happy Sunday, friends. Well, for you, Tuesday. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Um, Eddie and I are on the road to Tyson's Corner Mall, which is a mall that both of us have wanted to go to since we moved here, because I believe one of your coworkers told us, told you about it. Yes, Mr. Cash. Mr. Cash. Mr. Cash Mitchell. Um, and we decided that we were going to wait to go to this mall until December because we knew that we'd finally be established here and we knew like, because when we first got here, you guys saw all the stress of moving costs and initiation fees with pretty much every single service down here. So we kind of just decided we wait until then and then today ended up being the day that we said, let's go. I don't know why, but- You brought it up, right? Yeah, I like yeah, threw well, uh, a bunch of um, ideas at Eddie because Sunday is his first day off of three and we tend to like do things together because I work, you know, Monday through Friday. So it's our day to do things and this is what we decided. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm a little worried what? for our wallet. Oh. I mean, I've been on a shopping rampage the past two weeks. Like, I feel like I've done hauls for you guys every single day, but everything's been that's gifts. Right. Yeah, and that's why Eddie works. <laughs> So we have to get my dad's Christmas presents today. That is our number one mission. And anything else is just secondary and fun. And we're going to eat somewhere. Yes. Uh, Sue. I did bring you a bar, a cliff bar. Okay. You want that now? Yeah, I think I should have it now. Okay. So, yay for shopping again for the hundredth day in a row. So we definitely picked a busy day. The mall is just opened like nine minutes ago, but we decided we're going to do valet parking. But, um, I wonder, it's 1350. I don't give a I'm sorry, pardon my language, but that's that's what I feel about it. That's how much he really doesn't care. Um, I'm not trying to find a parking it's spot. It's gonna make our life so much easier to do the valet. I know, because we're just gonna be walking around all day. By the way, guys, I'll do an outfit today in the mall, but I have my nice boots on that I bought when I was on Long Island last time. I'm actually in clothes today. So, you know it's a big deal. Do not enter. Too I would late. say you probably park right here. I have no idea where to start. Neither does Eddie. How about Spanx? I think we should find like a, oh, directory right there and see where we want to go. I usually just wander though. All right, so here's where we are. Oh, my nails are still naked. Starbucks, I know I want to go there. Forever 21. Yeah, I think we should just walk around. Right. Apparently HGTV is here. Look at this Santa setup. That's insane. I want to go sit on Santa's lap. Yeah. I wasn't so looking at your lap. phone, I promise. Yeah, because we all know what happens. With Ooh, that. Athleta too. Let's go there too. Look, it's Chance on a Dish. Yeah, let me get it for Eddie. But he wouldn't appreciate it as much as I would. Gotta go in a, oh, Madewell. I want to go in Madewell too. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm wearing an Under Armour now. Because can't go into the mall without going Under Armour. So we're going to stop and break for lunch. It's a brewery. What is that? How do you say that? Gordon Birch? I don't know, but we're going there. We're going to La Sandia. And there's probably a bunch of people that are behind me pissed off that we're not going quicker down this. I haven't gotten anything, but Eddie has gotten stuff. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of a one-sided trip. It is so far. We'll see. But here's where we're going for lunch. So many options. The Mexican chicken soup sounds really good to me. Eddie's thinking of getting a lunch trio. The enchilada, taco, and soup one. Is that what you're getting? Possibly. I'm torn. I don't know. I might get a fajita because they got fajitas over there and it smells really good. Queso fundido and chicken flautas, which is like what Eddie used to always get at home. This table is filled with food. Our lunch came, I told her to wait, but she didn't do that. So, oh well. I found a sloth, you guys, and I'm obsessed with him, and I want him in my life. Oh. Okay. We're in chocolate heaven, AKA. So we got milk chocolate peanut butter pretzels. Oh my goodness. We got rainbow nonpareils. Uh, so what are you gonna fill? Jellies. Are you gonna fill a jar? Uh, what's medium? 
I don't know, I feel like we should get a cat on. <laughs> A fifty-eight dollar gallon of chocolate? No. Milk no chocolate seashells. Oh no, I used to get I used to like the rocks, the chocolate rocks. Yeah, when I was young we used to go to like Amish country we used to get these, but they weren't chocolate, they were something else. They were just like a sugar candy. He's going with the fifteen dollar one. Yeah. Oh. I have to hold I have to hold everything. 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 So you're getting really jelly rings. Only a couple. Because I don't think you'll like these. I'm probably not gonna have anything that you get. Oh. Um, actually, you should probably get the milk chocolate gram squares. Just, just a few, though. I was going to. Good. Just a few. Are you going to get the gummy bears? <laughs> oh, my God. It says ho, ho, ho. I don't know if you guys can tell. Go. Oh, my gosh. How much is that? That's so funny. Eddie really likes this shirt. We're going to party like it's my birthday. That's such a good, ugly t-shirt. Shirt. And I, of course, want the Merry Fucking Christmas one onesie. Yes, it wouldn't be the end of a good shopping day if we didn't go to Target. And uh, that's where we're headed now. Even though this Target sucks, but hopefully I'm gonna have much better luck. It's a gigantic Target. The Target Remember, doesn't suck. Well, the, the first and only time I've been to this Target, I've and I've tried a few in this state. It was after a very crappy experience at another shopping center, but it was also the that was the same day my car got towed, wasn't it? Target. I believe yeah, so. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So that was just that was probably the worst day I've had in a really really long time. So I'm giving it another try, and I'm hoping that I find stuff in the dollar spot. And I'm here for coffee, creamer, and butter, like a, like food stuff. Um, my dogs are barking at me though. Free parking, juggies. You still have to take something, don't you? No. Yes, two for five, two for five, two for five of my favorite creamer. If Eddie was Santa Claus, this is the Santa Claus he would be. That's the reindeer. Pfft, yeah, who needs a reindeer when you have two wheels? What else I got? They've still, all the Christmas stuff is on sale already. It's all <laughs> Like, I guess, well, I guess that's what happens when you start Christmas in October. Ah, oh, appropriate. Always the, Madonna, eat your heart out. Oh, yeah, that's more appropriate, the horns. Don's cat. <laughs> How many things can you do with a fake cranberry tree? Okay. One more. Sorry, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carries all the bags. It's the only reason I keep them around, pay my bills, carry my bags. And he looks cute sometimes. Nope. Okay. All right. Since we had a crazy awesome lunch, um, which I'm still pretty full from, but I can always stuff my face. So um, we're just gonna have some munchies. Uh, I was gonna watch football, but my fantasy team is now just about all but smashed out of the championship. So I'm depressed. So I'm gonna eat some mac and cheese bites. Some chicken parmesan lollipops, which are these that look pretty, pretty nice. And the uh, tried but true mozzarella sticks. So I got that going, I got the oven going. And uh, I just throw those in there and cook them up and shove them in my face. There you have it, for now. The mozzarella sticks always kind of come out crappy, but I've never had these before, but they look like they're gonna be awesome. Why are you singing a funeral song? <laughs> because this is a funeral for my love oh. life. Life for my life. You didn't make the chicken parm pops? Not yet. The lollipops? I know. I don't know why those always come out like weird. Mm. Yeah, these are not hot. Alright, try the other thing. This is the best angle, I bet. Better, right? Mm -hmm. I have spent an ungodly amount of time in front of the computer just now. I edited both videos, as I said before, and then I have been spending the past two days when I can looking for um, 
this video that I mentioned to you guys yesterday and I just can't find it, but then I kind of got sucked into a vortex of watching all of our old videos. I don't even know if you guys have access to all of them. There are a lot of videos on this channel and granted I've been kind of daily vlogging on and off for like two years now and this channel is just not growing. Um, <laughs> I love sitting there and watching it and I'm happy I have all of those memories and I was just, I was getting a little homesick um, for the first time really since I've been here I guess that I've gotten homesick um, watching them. But now I'm going to paint my nails. It's already quarter to eight. I'm so tired you guys from today. So um, when I did ask you guys for help for picking a color. The overwhelming response was for a red. So I'm going to pick a few reds. Here are the four that I picked. Do you mind? I know you're playing video games. I've just, I've annoyed the crap out of Eddie for like the past hour, I think that he's been playing video games. Now, this is your life depends on this decision. Can you see in the light? Yep. Okay. I like that one. You bought me that one. Is that why you picked it? No. Is that really your, is that your final answer? It is. Okay. My cuticles are a mess and a bunch of my nails have broken this week, but they are finally painted and that's what's important. I just, I don't know, when I don't have polish on them, I bite them or I break them off. And, uh, oh good, the kitchen is still clean. What a, yeah, we gotta take this out. These garbages all have to go out. Oh. Today is gar tonight is garbage pickup night. <laughs> Yay. We're in love. And oh. I don't care who knows. Oh, you smell the top coat. Yeah, the top coat's very strong, I think, because it's starting to go. Um, but I'm actually making my favorite nighttime ritual, which is my, what is it, Eddie? Sleepy time tea. Close, it's Candy Cane Lane. I don't have sleepy time tea. Are you gonna do that too? No, he doesn't walk. You gonna you gonna walk? You gonna stand there like that? That'll do. How was it? Did you notice how nice that grab was, and you didn't even have to say it? Impressive. I forgot I have this little elf mug, so that's what I'm gonna use for my tea tonight. And I always use two bags, just for anybody that's wondering. Two tea bags. I don't know why you're following me. Are you still hungry? Are you hungry still? You want more food? He's like at my feet, clawing at me, like will not leave me alone. So the only thing I can think of is that he's still hungry. Max, are you still hungry? You want food? I don't know, I don't know what's going on. He's already walked twice, so he doesn't have to go out. But he's being a weirdo. I think that Taylor Swift is going to be Barbara Walters' most fascinating person of 2014. If not, Michael Strahan or Neil Patrick Harris. Who do you think? I would go with Neil Patrick Harris over Taylor Swift. Really? But you have to see the interviews. I have to go by Yeah, the I'm hoping I can make it through because <laughs> it's on till 11. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I should be okay. I stayed up till 11.30 on Friday. I don't care. Remember you were like texting me, you are like, you need to go to bed. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I don't see it. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys because I'm not sure I'm not sure how it happens but um or what it looks like for you guys, but I started scheduling the videos to automatically go live. So every day at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the videos go live. If they're not in your subscription boxes, then just go ahead and like look through whatever you're subscribed to um or search us on YouTube, but I just want to let you know in case like we are uploading daily and they do go up. So I just want you to know that um cuz I haven't said it, but it's just been working so much easier and it guarantees I get you guys a video so yeah we're gonna go go watch Barbara Walters oh you look cute right now what do you mean you just do because I'm just sitting here like a little kid yeah and chance in the background look at this pig oh this couch this living room is a mess thanks to this guy Thanks to me. I cannot believe that we stayed up and watched, well, I stayed up, Eddie would have been up anyway, to watch the fascinating, top 10 fascinating people. Taylor Swift got number two and George Clooney's wife is number one. I'm not gonna, I'm, I, I'm pretty annoyed at that situation. What do you think? It's horse shit. Okay, thank you. No, it's stupid. Love Say goodnight to them. Aw.
Night. Love you. <laughs> and these guys are all tucked in. So, yep, we will see you guys tomorrow.